Hey everybody, welcome to another recap of American Idol. Tonight, the top 13 performed. The lucky 13, as Randy says. Uh, so they had to choose a song by their personal idol and perform it. So they also got to work with Jimmy Iovine, which is like a legendary record producer. Lauren Elena was up first. Uh, her idol was Shania Twain, and she picked Any Man of Mine. Uh, she is a great singer. There's no doubt about that. She's very likable. But is she an artist? I mean, she's still so young. I don't know. She just doesn't seem to have that artist quality to her. I, I'm not even sure that she knows what it means to be an artist. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? All right. Casey Abrams up next. Total opposite. Uh, he sang a song by Joe Cocker. Well, Joe Cocker covered it. It was uh, with a little help from my friends, which is an old Beatles song. He totally made it his own. I just, you know, I, Casey Abrams is an artist. His song was great. Um, he couldn't be anybody else if he tried. He could not imitate anyone else. The only person that he could be is himself. And that is exactly why he should win American Idol. I've never seen anybody come along on the show quite like him. He's just amazing. Ashton Jones up next. Uh, her idol is Diana Ross. And she sang When You Tell Me That You Love Me. Now, uh, I'm questioning that song choice. I don't, I really, I'm questioning that they put her through. Um, as a wild card pick last week because she's not the one that I would have uh, chosen to put through because I thought her sing for your life thing was just not up to par so I'm really surprised that they chose her she was struggling during the whole song really I mean I just I don't think it was good Paul McDonald up next uh, Mr. Flower Suit <laughs> he spent like $4,500 on that suit that he was wearing last week I hope he gets enough use out of it to pay for it uh, his idol is Ryan Adams, and he sang Come Pick Me Up, and Ryan Adams is really not that well known, so uh, there was no preconceived notions there for the most part, but that guy is just so cool, and he has such a great time up on stage when he's performing. I mean, how could you not like him? Uh, if you like Chris Martin, you'll probably like Paul McDonald, although he doesn't sound like Chris Martin, it's just on stage. He kind of comes off as Chris Martin-esque. Uh, Pia Toscano, she totally blew me away tonight. Her idol is Celine Dion, and when I heard that, I got a little nervous because Celine Dion is huge, and when you start picking the hugies, that's when you run into trouble. Well, she sang her hit All By Myself, and this girl is a freaking powerhouse. She blasted through that song, and that's why she's my favorite girl on the show. Okay, <laughs> that's all you need to know. James Durbin, uh, his idol is Paul McCartney. That's Sir Paul McCartney to you. Uh, he sang Maybe I'm Amazed. I was pretty amazed. I just realized when he sang that, that this competition is going to be a bitch to decide. This is like the most talented season that I've seen. And... I thought that this year was going to suck with the whole judges thing, but if I guess it probably would have if they hadn't had the pool of talent that they had this season, but these people are blowing me out of the water. I'm like hanging on the edge of my seat. Um, I just The only thing about him is that I just wish Adam Lambert hadn't come along before, because now I'm always comparing him to Adam Lambert, and it's, you know... It's very similar. It's hard to do. But he is taking constructive criticism. He lost the tail. And I'm sure people have told him, hey, you really need to lose that tail because it's way too kitschy. So kudos for that, for taking good advice. Hi Holly Reinhardt um, was up next. And she likes Leanne Rhymes. And she sang uh, her song Blue. Um, I'm kind of disappointed because I really like the quality in Holly's voice. But... The performance was pretty forgettable. It was kind of a snooze fest, so I'm feeling bad for her. Jacob Lusk up next. Uh, his idols are Kelly. And the song was I Believe I Could Fly. And I thought, wow, this is really corny. And it kind of was in the beginning. Um, it was like two different performances. 
uh, it was the beginning, which was kind of like he was fighting with the background singers, and then the ending, where it really all came together, and it was really good. So I really only liked half of his performance, but I don't know if I would have chose that song. Thea McGee up next. Uh, Michael Jackson is her idol, and she sang that beautiful song, Smile. I absolutely love that song, and she did a really beautiful job with it in the beginning. I didn't like the jazzy arrangement at the end, along with the, the judges. I'm going to have to agree with them. I just figured out what bothers me about her. When she's not singing and she's like standing there getting her critique, it almost looks like she's going to cry or fall asleep or a combination of both. And it's it's just, it's really weird and it bothers me. If it, if it bothers you too, put it in the comments and let me know because it just, I just, something seemed off about her and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, Stefano Langone, uh, his idol is Stevie Wonder and he chose to sing Lately. I think he kind of struggled during the whole song. Um, I I wasn't really feeling his performance, and I really I liked him, but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it tonight from him. So I'm sorry, Stephen. Karen Rodriguez up next. Uh, Selena is her idol, and she sang "I Could Fall in Love." She's a good singer. She really is, but I don't know. I just. Choosing this song and singing it the way she did, it really didn't show me who she is as an artist, so... Not feeling it. I'm sorry. Scotty McCreary up next. Uh, likes Garth Brooks. He sang The River. This guy was born to sing country music. He's got the perfect country music singing voice. But he sounds like every other country singer that I've ever heard. He could probably cover just about any country song. But would I turn on the radio and say, oh, that's Scotty McCreary? No, I'd probably say, oh, that's some deep voice country singer that I've heard before, like Trace Adkins or, you know, whoever. So, again, not really an artist. And closing the show, Naima Adadapo uh, chose a Rihanna song, Umbrella. Now, this song's been all over the radio, like, a couple years ago. She put a really great spin on it. She did a little reggae uh, spin, a little reggae rap. She did some dancing. Um, she's probably not trained to perform on stage like that with the dancing and the singing. Um, so her breath control was way off the charts. I mean, she was really out of breath. It's hard to dance and sing. And then she had the whole rapping thing. She really did not have any downtime to you because you know like when performers dance on stage it's usually during uh where there's no singing so or they have like a, a track you know behind them so that if they're not really singing something's filling it in i i love that she did that and uh she made it like a real performance it it was really it was a nice way to close the show and i hope that america supports her because i really think She's interested in being an artist, and I like her style. So tomorrow night, somebody's going home already. And American Idol, you freaking lied, because I remember when you changed all the rules for the show and everything, you said the, the, um, the cut shows where they cut somebody is only going to be half an hour. Well, according to my DVR, it's going to be an hour, so thanks a lot for nothing. So until tomorrow night... Much love.